this says here. You can and you can see this, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So it says here, I told my husband I hate when he tells his friends, let me check with my wife. Because then the blame is put on me if he doesn't go. This was his response. And then there's also something here. That, when I said that, I hate when you tell your friends or your brothers. Okay. <clears throat> so... I just want to go back to this wording here because wording with me is everything. So <laughs> I told my husband, I hate when he tells his friends. So she came to her husband. I hate when you tell your friends, let me check with my wife because then the blame is put on me. If he doesn't go, she didn't even say here in a response or sorry. She didn't even say here that I don't let him go. It still sounds like the decision is up to him here. It never sounds like she's hoarding the decision or he or she's um she has the she's giving him permission to or to not. All she's saying is if he doesn't go. So whatever reason he decides to not go, blame is on her. I guess he maybe maybe it's not about that. Maybe it's, about that. Maybe it's more about communication. But she's like she thinks it's a cliche thing where he's like, hang on, I have to ask my boss if I can go out. I know, I, I know, but like with your boss, you kind of have there, there, there's a there's a written yeah there, there's yeah there's written rules. So like, let's watch the clip here. I want you to tell them what you told me the other day when I said that I hate when you tell your friends or your brothers. Like, let me check with my wife first. <laughs> I told you, you need to feel powerful. Y'all need to feel powerful when you when a man do that. You know what I'm saying? Like all my brothers. All my friends, all my peoples know if Big Dog don't say it's not a go, it's not a go. <laughs> if Big Dog say no, I gotta stay, I don't want to be the bad guy. But you, Big, it's not a bad guy. I'm checking in. You know what I'm saying? I'm making sure the crib's straight. That's why I gotta go home and lay my head down. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm checking in. I ain't making no decisions unless she says it's a go. That's Big Dog. <laughs> And none of my friends gonna challenge that. None of my homies gonna challenge that. You feel what I'm saying? Because so they he said, know. He said I should feel like the big dog. I shouldn't feel like. No. Yeah, you powerful. You, you know what I'm saying? That's respect on your name. What you mean? Come <laughs> here. I want you to tell them what you That's told. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, all right. Well, you say what you say. Oh uh, no, let me stop this there. Okay. <clears throat> no, please. Go ahead, please. Okay, so from from what I'm seeing, there's a couple of things going on here. He's he's for one, he wants his wife to feel good and know that she is she has the final say because he's like a married guy and he likes sleeping at home with his wife and not having her be mad at him. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, of course it's your decision, honey. Uh, but at the same time. He was also saying, like, he's he's checking in, like, you know, that's your partner, man. You know, and then, like, partner in fucking everything, partner in crime, partner in, like, business decisions. If you need something, if the kids, whatever, like, are the kids straight? That's usually what it is for me and my part is, like, you know, I'll call her and I'll be like, you know, what, how much time do I got? Basically, to do the thing, to be myself for a minute before I got to come home and be dad. That's usually what it is. Like just bargaining time in a day, because like you know you gotta work and then you get home and get shit done. Hmm. I don't think he's. I mean, he specifically was trying to make her feel good too by telling her that she had the she had the decision. You know, he's he's playing up to her. Playing up to her. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. He he specifically. Is. <laughs> do you think that's good to you play? Know what you, to play? Hey, you know, the, um, you don't know what you like. You don't know what she's like. Fucking, uh, when she's pissed off. She might be. She might be really nasty. If <laughs> you fucking nuts. Okay, now, now here's the thing, though. Okay, I'm gonna. It sounds like. It sounds like he. You're a victor. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. 
I agree with it. It sounds like he is not the captain. He is not the number one in his household. He said no, big dog. Yeah. He referred to her as big dog and then f- held up the arm to show strength in the house, to show strength, meaning is she the strongest person? Yeah. Yeah. She's the boss. Now that's, you see, that's what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing somebody say I'm checking in with my wife. No, no, no. Somebody checking in with their, like, we've Somehow. all had a boss. We've all had a boss, someone over us, check in with us. You know, some dogs like a house that, to come home to. Other dogs like to, you know, roam around. That is true. That is true. But <clears throat> you can have more than one thing. You can roam around and have your own home. And you can also, you know, not roam around and have your home. It still be you still be the king of your home. It sounds like he's putting the, literally the king title on her, not a queen title, but a king title because he's calling her the big dog. And then when she says, "I don't want to yeah, be the bad her, guy," you call her a big bitch. That it's a fight again. It's no, well, he doesn't I, have to refer I, to her as that. You this know, guy's just trying to avoid a fight, man. But no, why does it have to be a fight? But you see, here's the problem now. Why is it a fight? Where we have to we have to peel this all the way back. We have to peel this all the way back. Then let's go to the second layer. Why would it potentially be a fight? Where is he going? Well, I don't know. Uh, no, we're gi- we're giving up. We're giving scenarios here. Like where where could it go? Yeah, but these are, these are strangers. I'm just I'm prefacing it by saying I don't know what their relationship is like. But if She's playing up for the camera about how she doesn't want to be the bad guy or whatever. But yeah, he's probably going to the bar or fucking wherever. I don't know. He's going out with the boys. What do you do when you go out with the boys? What do I do? Yeah. Well, I don't check in with no woman. <laughs> not now. <laughs> I'm not checking in with no woman. But listen, I understand the idea. You don't live with them. Listen. You don't live with them. No, no, no. So you don't have to check in with anybody. No, 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 I don't have to check with anybody, no. But I understand that idea. I'm not I'm not against or opposed to the idea of I live with a woman and I'm out somewhere. I'm probably supposed to, I, I probably said to my woman, hey, I'll be back by, I finish work. She knows I, what time I usually finish work. So if I'm home, if I, so if let's say I finish work at five, I'm usually home around six, 6.30. If it's eight o'clock, and I haven't checked in with her. I understand her feeling a way about me. Hey, something could have happened to me where it's going on, blah, blah, blah. So I get where the idea comes where, hey, you know what? Let me ch- maybe at around 630, my boys called me and said, hey, why don't you swing by? Let's go do this real quick, blah, blah, blah. All right, let me check in with my wife. Hey, hey, how you doing, babe? Uh, this and that. I'm, I'm heading out, blah, blah. But that's because we have a lot together. You know, I, I understand that. I'm not opposed to that. We have a lot together. We have time in. We have experience, history, all of that. We may have children together. We have shit. We have shit to do. So if, you know, one half doesn't show up today to work, it's like, okay, well, why couldn't somebody call in and tell me, hey, they're not going to show up today? Like We could have worked around it. So I understand checking in. But I don't need to play up my partner now to then have them be the bigger person than me. That That's the part now where I don't understand. And once I hear that, it makes me feel like but let's but let's look at the tape he says specifically i told you he says to her because they've already had this conversation but now it's on camera because she don't like it because she don't like it he's not listening he's not listening to her and that's the see that's the we're we're, we're peeling it back we're peeling it back i'm sorry but we're peeling it back if this is all about communication the first thing is communication the first thing she said is on the post and it says i told my husband i hate it when and he still continues to do something is that your wife why do you still continue to do do something that she hates if it's not conducive to the family yeah but you know she doesn't mean that she doesn't actually mean don't check in with me no, but she hates the be- the big dog. The- she hates the whole idea that you're putting blame onto me. Is there a way that you can check in with me and not put blame? And that's what I'm saying. There's two things here. He can mm-hmm. check in, but it's the way he's doing it. Why does he have to take it to that level of, oh, no, you the big dog. You the man. You the man. Because we all know if you're the big dog and there's a problem, who's who okay. has to who has to be addressed? The big dog. So she, yeah. it's inevitable. And he doesn't understand that because you want to know why he doesn't understand that? He's lost in the dating matrix. He took the blue pill and he needs to goddamn wake up. He needs to he needs to wake up. He needs to wake up. All right. This idea of of and that comes from that's another 
uh, iteration of happy wife, happy life. He thinks she's happy being in control. She is not happy being in control. She's constantly telling him, I hate it here. When you're the boss, you get blamed for when it doesn't go well. It's not going well. And she gets blamed. And how does she know when it, it doesn't go well? The fellas say shit when they come to the house. They come by the cookout. They come by whenever. And they say things like, oh, man, you can't even come out, man. Why your wife won't let you? And then she looks at him like, well, I didn't say you couldn't go. I never said you couldn't go anywhere. And he looks at her like, yo, babe, but you the big dog. You know what I mean? But you saying like, no, you the big dog. But he's not. He's not. She wears bigger jeans than him. And not because yeah, of her hips. I bet she does, though. <laughs>